Once you know how much energy you're going to use each day, and you know exactly how much space you have on the roof, you probably have one big question. How many solar panels should I get? Well, before we go and buy anything, let's take a quick look at how much energy you can get from the sun. The solar energy available when the sun is low is trivial. Only when it's high in the sky during peak hours will your panel give you its rated wattage. Peak hours are what we use to estimate how much solar energy we can collect in one day. Let's take a closer look at peak hours. For starters, the national average in the United States is five peak hours of sun per day. But in Alaska, you should only expect two hours of peak sunlight per day. And in Arizona, as much as eight peak hours per day. For this video, I'm going to use the national average of five hours per day. And next, I'm going to show you how to estimate daily energy yield for a single solar panel. So let's say you had a single 100 watt panel in a location with five peak hours of sun. Over the course of one day, your one panel will yield approximately 500 watt hours of energy. So when you're shopping for panels, remember to multiply the wattage by the number of peak sun hours in the area you'll be. In our case of five peak hours per day, we can essentially think of a 100 watt panel as a 500 watt hour per day panel. And when you multiply that by how many panels fit on the roof, 12, you get six kilowatt hours per day, which you can think of as the max output possible for this roof. This number represents the maximum amount of solar energy your roof can yield per day for a location with five peak hours of sun. But how much energy do you need? Five kilowatt hours of energy needed per day. That's what I consider to be a conservative estimate for a typical day off-grid without heavy reliance on the air conditioner. If you want to see how I got that number, watch my video on analyzing the electrical loads in the Terra Oasis. The link is in the description. Before we go any further, let's review. Assuming five peak hours of sun, this 100 watt panel will yield 500 watt hours of energy per day. And if you completely covered your roof with 12 panels, you should be able to reliably get six kilowatt hours of energy from the sun each day, which is more than the five kilowatt hours that we determined we need. So technically we should only need 10 panels for our build. The difference between 10 and 12 panels will be something like $400 once you factor in the related costs. I bought 12 because having more than what I need gives me a little extra peace of mind. One last tip, I recommend buying an even number of panels to allow you to wire them in parallel as needed. Now we all know the sun is up for more than five hours per day. So if you're curious about what makes a peak sun hour a peak sun hour, check the solar reviews link in the description as it will tell you how solar energy changes over a day and how it varies by location. When it's cloud covered and raining, you could see below 10% output from your panels. This is where storing energy in batteries comes into play. Don't worry, we'll talk about batteries in future videos. By now you should know everything you need to know to determine how many solar panels you need. And honestly, you'd be fine with one panel if you just needed to recharge your phone each night. The number of panels you buy will just dictate how carefree you can be with your electricity usage. Next, watch my video on mounting the panels on the roof.